Hello there, my name is Richard McMahon from the interview training company, PassMyInterview.com. And in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to pass an electrical engineer interview. So if you have an electrical engineering interview coming up for any organization from across the world, please make sure you stay tuned, watch this tutorial from beginning to end, because I promise to help make you the standout candidate. Now to achieve that goal, this is what I will cover. I'm going to give you a list of electrical engineer interview questions that I recommend you prepare for. I will also give you great top scoring sample answers to help you pass your electrical engineering interview. I will tell you the qualities that the interviewer is looking for and therefore the ones that you must demonstrate throughout the duration of your interview to succeed. And I will also tell you about where you can get access to further resources to help you prepare fully. So there's four reasons why you should stay tuned and watch this presentation fully. Now quickly, before I get in to the electrical engineer interview questions and top scoring answers, a very warm welcome to this presentation. My name is Richard McMahon. That is me there in the center of the screen. I've been helping people for over 20 years now to pass their interviews. I always do that by giving you top scoring answers you can't find anywhere else. On that basis, please subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the training videos I upload. We have over 300,000 subscribers now within our community, and many of you are passing your job interviews as a result of the videos. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn if you want to. My LinkedIn link is in the description below the video. And please also make sure you give the video a like. Please hit the like button because that tells me you enjoy the content and I will therefore spend more time creating it for you. Okay, let's get into those electrical engineering interview questions and the top scoring answers. So the first question I want you to prepare for is, tell me about yourself and why you will make a good electrical engineer for our company. So this will be the first interview question that you need to answer. So let's make sure that you load your response with the skills, the qualities and the experience you have that will enable you to add value to their organization. That's important. We want to prove that we can add value within the role. Here's a great answer. Thank you for inviting me to be interviewed for this position today. I would like to think I am a safety focused, results driven and professional electrical engineer who can be relied upon to carry out my tasks competently within strict rules and procedures in a fast and efficient manner. Now I say this because over the years I've developed lots of transferable skills, qualities and experience that make me highly effective as an electrical engineer. Now, for example, in my previous role, my supervisor would often ask me to work on challenging electrical engineering projects that needed an analytical and data-driven approach to solving difficult problems. Now, I understand there comes a huge amount of responsibility as an electrical engineer, and if you hire me within this position, I will work hard to repay the faith you will have shown in employing me. That's a very good answer. You use that kind of answer at the start of your interview and you are up and running because you have demonstrated how you can add value to their organization. Now you can either pause the video if you want to and take notes of these answers as I progress or if you wait I will tell you where you can download my full set of 21 electrical engineer interview questions and top scoring answers. The next question, so why do you want to work for us as an electrical engineer? Now the only way you can answer this interview question with confidence is if you research their organization. So here is a model answer to assist you. As soon as I saw the position advertised, I knew this was where I wanted to work as an electrical engineer. Now there are three specific reasons why I want to work for your company. You have a strong reputation within the industry as a high achieving organization, which means I will be able to work on various electrical tasks and projects, utilizing my skills and experience in the process. You also have a reputation as a, as a supportive employer who encourages your staff to continually train, improve and maintain professional competence. Now, finally, I am looking for long term employment as an electrical engineer and providing I perform to a high standard in the role, which I can assure you I will do. I plan to stay here for a long period of time. I like that answer because you are not just giving one reason why you want to work for them, but you're actually giving three specific reasons. and They are positive, genuine reasons as well. The next question, what skills are needed to become a competent electrical engineer in this role? So this is your chance to show the interviewer you fully understand the important skills needed 
to be a highly effective, safe and competent electrical engineer? Here is my suggested answer. Now, whilst there are many different skills needed to be an effective electrical engineer, there are eight that I rely on to perform consistently to high standards in my work. Now, these include an ability to operate safely whilst following rules and procedures. This is the number one most important skill needed to be an electrical engineer. You also need excellent problem solving skills because essentially electrical engineers are problem solvers. You need a high level of competence in technical circuits and electrical concepts, analytical and critical thinking skills, and also strong organisational capabilities to manage your workload and deliver tasks and projects on time. Finally, you must be able to build strong professional relationships, communicate effectively, and also possess a desire to continually learn and improve within your work. I like that answer because you are focusing on a set number of skills, and in this particular example, I've given you eight that I believe are fundamental to the role of an electrical engineer. Now, please don't go anywhere because I still have more questions to run through to help you pass. But when you are ready, if you want to click that link in the top right hand corner of the video, it takes you through to my website, passmyinterview.com, where you can download my full set of 21 electrical engineer interview questions and top scoring answers, including the ones that I'm going through right now. The next question. As an electrical engineer, how would you develop professional relationships? Now, an organisation wants to know not only can you be a competent and professional electrical engineer, but that you can also build long lasting positive working relationships with key members of staff, contractors and stakeholders. Now, this is a common electrical engineer interview question. So here is my suggested answer. I believe it's important to build strong relationships as an electrical engineer for two main reasons. Firstly, it can help you to complete tasks quickly and more effectively if you can call on people for help, advice or support when needed. The second reason is positive relationships with your work colleagues and senior managers is essential because you are all working towards the same goal. If you are all working together collaboratively, you will be able to get more done in a faster time frame. I would develop professional relationships by keeping in regular communication with important team members, my supervisors and also vital stakeholders. I would also support them in their work and always make sure I represented your company in a positive manner at all times when both communicating and also carrying out essential electrical engineering work. So that's a great answer. You show you you show there you understand the importance of building professional relationships as an electrical engineer. The next question, give me an example of a technical electrical engineering project you have worked on. So it's important that you give a specific example here of where you worked collaboratively as part of a team to achieve a successful outcome during an important project or design process. So here is my suggested answer and you will notice that I use what's called the STAR technique of situation, task, action, result. Here we go. In my previous electrical engineering role, I was part of a team that was responsible for designing and installing an electrical patient lift in a new hospital. It was our task to work together as a team, discuss the design and build options, and then install the patient chair safely whilst following all relevant standards and safety procedures. Now, during the initial team brief, we discussed the specification needed by the hospital and I explained the limitations from an electrical engineering perspective and what I could do to make the project work successfully. Throughout the project, I maintained a flexible approach from an electrical engineering angle. I supported the other team members and made sure I focused at all times on the needs of the hospital whilst keeping a close eye on safety and technical standards. Now, three months after starting work on the project, the electrical patient chair had been designed and installed successfully and it became an important part of the hospital's day-to-day -day operations. So you will see there that by focusing your answer using situation, task, action, result, you can give a top scoring answer that is situational based. And that's very, very important. So the next thing to do, I'll take you through to my website, so don't go anywhere. But if you click that link in the top right hand corner of the page, it takes you through, sorry, of the video, takes you through to my website passmyinterview.com. Let's just quickly go there. It'll take you through to this page and you can download my full set of 21 electrical engineer interview questions and answers. So there's a full list of the questions there that I recommend you prepare for. You can download the answers as well. I've also given you five top tips here 
to help you prepare fully for your electrical engineer interview. Make sure you read those as well. And you can download them by um, clicking the link at the bottom of the page. You can get access to those within literally two minutes from now. And it will certainly go a long way to helping you pass your interview. I hope you've enjoyed that. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out. Connect with me on LinkedIn and also give the video a like. Thank you very much for your time and for watching this video. And I wish you all the best for passing your electrical engineer interview. Have a brilliant day.